follow-up video for station number three. Questions you are asking are, where is my point of intersection? Are my equations in y equals mx plus b form? What does the m stand for? Is it positive or negative? And where does my y-intercept go on my graph? Solve each of the following systems graphically. So let's look at each of these piece by piece. So I have y equals 2x minus 3 and y equals negative 3x plus 2. So y equals 2x minus 3. My slope is the number attached to my x, so in this case 2, and it goes over 1. 2 is my rise, 1 is my run. My y-intercept is negative 3. So I'm going to plot a point at negative 3 and go up 2 over 1. Up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, and then up 2 over 1. Then I go back to my y-intercept, and instead of going up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, I go down to left 1. And then I plot a point. Once all those points are plotted, I simply draw a line going through my points as straight as possible. Try to hit them as nice as possible. My second equation is y equals negative 3x plus 2. So my slope again is the number attached to my x. So in this case, negative 3 over 1. Negative 3 is my rise. So I'm going down 3 and going to the right 1. And then my y-intercept is 2. I plot a point at 2, and I go down 3, right 1. So 1, 2, 3, 1. 1, 2, 3, 1. I go back to my y-intercept, and I go up 3, left 1. And then I plot a point there. I now have all my points plotted, and I'd like to see where they intersect. And they intersect at a very nice point right here at 1, negative 1. And that's my final answer. Question number two. I have 5x plus y equals 4 and x minus y equals 2. So we write out our equations. So we have 5x plus y equals 4. I want to get into y equals form, so I subtract 5x, subtract 5x. And I get y equals negative 5x plus 4. That's what I'm graphing. My slope is the number attached to my x, so negative 5 over 1 rise of negative 5, run of 1, and my y-intercept is 4. So I plot these nice points, and I go down 5 over 1. And then I run out of room, because if I go down 5, I end up off my grid. So I draw a line going through those two points, and that's my line. My next equation is x minus y equals 2. I subtract x from both sides because, again, I want to get it in y equals form. So I have negative y equals negative x plus 2. And then I divide by the negative 1 in front of my y. So negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. And I get y equals 2 negatives make a positive, so 1x. And then 2 divided by negative 1 is negative 2. So my slope is 1 over 1, and my y-intercept is negative 2. So rise 1, run 1. So I'm going to plot a point at negative 2, and then go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. And then go backwards now. That way you have a nice, beautiful graph. Draw a line going through those points. Ooh, if I can get it nicely looking. And I do. So my graph intersects at this point right here. And again, it's actually 1, negative 1. And that's your final answer.